everyone welcome back to the channel today I'm a little nervous because I have some more blind boxes to unbox this week we are unboxing if I can get it out of the package the sleeping beauty mystery pin set there are 12 total I have six boxes here so we're definitely not going to get all of them here is what they look like We've got quite an array of characters and different outfits and everything of characters from Sleeping Beauty. One thing I will point out is that this amazing jacket that I'm wearing, I got in Disney and I hope you that you love it. And also these ears that match it pretty well um, are available on my Etsy shop. Please note that I am completely aware that these ears are wonky and this one's bigger than this one. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm practicing a new ear with a new fabric, things go a little wonky. Don't worry, I always keep the wonky ones for myself and I ship you guys the ones that are actually perfect. Um, so if you are interested in some red velvet ears, maybe for Christmas time, please reach out to me on Instagram at hollylollyco. Also, they may be available in my Etsy shop, which is at etsy.com slash shop slash hollylollyco. That was a mouthful. Um, but if they're not yet on the store, feel free to reach out to me, um, cause I do have them available. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all the plastic off of these because it's so loud. So as you can see, I have six total boxes here. Let's get started. Should I tell you guys what I want the most? Let's, let's do that. Okay. I definitely want the chase because it's the chase bow show. I really would love the three fairies because I don't have any pins of the three fairies. I would love Briar Rose because I love her outfit and just her look as Briar Rose. Um, and I definitely really want her and Prince Philip dancing together because I don't have many Prince Philip pins. I mean, honestly, I want all of these, except I don't really care for the Raven. I don't I don't really care for the crown, um, but I won't be upset if I get those. So um, can't really go wrong here. Last video, I seemed to do pretty well when you guys were looking at it before I got to. So we're going to do that again. What do we get? Let's see if I can guess it, actually. I'm going to guess this is Dragon Maleficent. I was literally going to guess it was the Woodland Creatures, but I thought I would be able to distinct between their two legs more. Darn it. I should have gone with my gut. Um, I'm really glad. This one's really cute. Definitely not mad about this pin. We've got the little owl in Prince Philip's coat and the birdies holding up his arms and then the little bunnies in his boots um, hopping around dancing with Briar Rose. I mean, that's a really cute pin, you guys. Adorable. Oh, I love it. Okay. And these have a gold backing um, and these do not have the lounge fly like crown print. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll give you an example. Here is um, the Disney Villains Flame Collection Lounge Fly. A lot of times it has this crown um, across the back. I think some people call it a waffle back. Um, this, these do not. They are also lounge fly pins though, right? Aren't these lounge fly pins? Oh, they're not lounge. Oh wait, yeah, they are. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah, they're lounge fly pins. Um, all right. Okay, next one go this guy is big okay what do we get this one feels really small I'm gonna say oh I just dropped it okay but I didn't see it yet I'm gonna say this one is is this annoying for me to guess these be honest is this another woodland creatures oh no okay this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be and weirder okay hold on so this is a little bit of a different type of pin not sure how I feel about it so it seems to me 
This gets weirder the longer I look at it. I don't know how I feel about this pen. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to see kind of what I mean. So a lot of the enamel was poured and then it seems like a clear enamel was put over it and then her eyebrows and eyelashes were painted on top of that clear coat. And the only other part that's weird to me is her hair. I really hope you guys will be able to tell what I'm talking about. Can you guys tell how there's a clear coat and then her eye lashes and brows are painted on top of it and then in her hair you can see you there's a lot of the gold of the metal of the pin like coming through when it seems like that could all be her hair does that make sense i mean it's not an ugly pin i just think that it's not super well done and like if i was at disney world and I saw this pin for $9, I would be like, no. But you know what? It's a unique, so we'll take it. I'm just being hypocritical because, like, I'm here to serve you all the tea. That's the truth. Okay. I'm going to show you guys this one first, but I'm not going to try and guess it because I feel like that could get annoying. What is it? Oh, it's the Raven. I mean, it's okay. It's a character I don't have. And that is not super common. Um, so I will take it. Again though, I just don't feel like these are the best quality. I'll show you guys what I mean on this one. So this one also has like a clear coating over it. Um, and you'll, but you'll see on this one, his, okay, first of all, it doesn't stay up straight because his wings are too heavy. There needs to be a second pin back up on one of his wings. Um, but his claws, like his talons and legs are not filled in. And I'm thinking a bird's legs are typically like maybe brown or black. So wouldn't you have just filled in his talons and his legs with the same block of like his wings maybe or a brown not gonna lie I'm a little disappointed in this collection and not that I'm upset that I purchased it I'm a little upset I purchased six of them because that's $60 on pins um but yeah I'm a little disappointed in the quality and I'm not super surprised because when I was looking at the pin back or at the back of the box as it was shown on the website to, I was kind of like ooh these might not be the best quality um but like you know these Disney villain pins that were the same price I feel like were really good quality and a lot bigger like I mean look at the size difference in this villain pin versus this sleeping beauty pin and like that's oh whoops like next to Jafar I mean they're just a lot bigger and they're nicer quality so I don't know this uh this set is a little bit of a letdown which is okay I mean that happens next up <gasps> okay we got Briar Rose okay Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say the same thing. I mean, I do, I just these this pin collection is not the highest quality, but this is definitely my favorite one so far. Um, same situation where her eyebrow and eye is like drawn on top of the clear enamel, so it just looks weird. It makes her look a little deformed. Um, but still, I'm really happy that I have this pin because I do not have any Briar Rose pins, and I'm excited to add her to my collection honestly I, some of these pins I might just save to trade in the parks um I'm not sure you know if any of you would like to trade these obviously reach out to me on Instagram at holly lolly co I haven't gotten any um doubles yet though maybe I just jinxed myself so I'm pretty excited about that um but I think some of these I, I won't keep in my collection for um for forever so what do we get next Oh, I did jinx myself. Why do I do that? So it is another one of the woodland creatures dancing, um, which is probably one of the cutest ones except Briar Rose. Okay, last one, you guys. Everyone pray for me because 
wait one two three four no i should have one more don't tell me i lost a box one two three four five okay no this is number six okay we're good we're good i would really love the three fairies or her dancing with um prince philip or the chase and this one does feel like the biggest pin so far so hopefully that's a good sign Oh, they're so bad though, guys. Oh, they're so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening here? Am I just being hypercritical? Am I just like, because I just unbox these villain pins, which I do really like, no, I'm not being hypercritical. These are awful. They're bad. That's just the fact of the matter. Okay. Oh, I really hope, maybe I'll take you guys off the tripod. Maybe that'll be a better way to show you guys how bad this pin is because it's bad. Please ignore the current state of my desk because this is what it looks like. I've been filming unboxings and hauls all day. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this pin up close together because I really need you guys to see what I'm seeing. Okay, please focus camera. Okay, let's start with their faces. First of all, Flora, isn't the Flo isn't Flora the pink one? Flora does not look that bad. Like her face is actually anatomically correct. But poor Meriwether, first of all, her eyes are terrifying. Her lips and nose are not only pink, but smudged across her face. And obviously not anatomically correct considering they're pink and not on the proper part of her face. Like, I mean, you can't even tell what's supposed to be the nose versus the lips. I mean, you can kind of tell that she's supposed to have like her little, like, like her little chubby chin. Okay, moving on to Fauna. Again, same situation here, like her, oh, can you guys, will you guys be able to see that? Like her face is all there, but then her nose and mouth detail is like hot pink. Okay, so there's that. And then second of all, why are their wands not filled in? Like if that was a conscious design choice, fine it was a bad one if that was not a conscious design choice then we've got another severely flawed pin i just like can't their wands be filled in white wouldn't that be cute and also this like big gap in between all of them is also a little bit like questionable to me like you could have just left it unfilled in or you could have filled it in with something. I mean, I just, I don't know. Am I being a super negative Nancy? I don't think that I am. And then this is the other one that I kind of do have a little bit of a problem with only because the, I think I was, I think I was talking about how her hair should be more of the gold um, and filled in a little bit better. And then I, it's really hard to tell on camera, but her eyebrows and eyelashes look very odd because there's clear enamel over the entire top and then her eyebrow and eyelashes are painted on the top of that and in person it's just very odd looking. And then here's some close ups of this one like same thing here I feel like her eye her eye should be a little bit more forward it's like on the side of her face I don't know again like I'm just being hypercritical if that's important to you if pin quality is something that you're really like pressed about then this is definitely not the box for you um yeah oh and then this is the one that flips upside down because its wings are too heavy for its pin back so yeah i mean definitely could be better um Sorry, I had to take my jacket off because it's really hot in here. So, yeah, I'll just finish out the video vlog style. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below. 
Um, I really appreciate a like since this um, pin boxing was so disappointing. And yeah, hit that subscribe button if you want to come hang out with me more on the channel. I do a lot of Disney and other lifestyle related content. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I think I mentioned those earlier, so I won't again. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Yeah.